Now, this is the Obama circuit mat. This is my slicer that I have for sale. It has uh, forward and reverse on it, as you see on the control panel, slicing thickness, and you can also do the number of slices. Now, it's got a lot of built-in safeties on it. As you'll see when this blade starts whirring, you'll see why they're here. But as soon as you open up one of these doors, either the two doors on top, it comes to a complete stop. I've used this for slicing biscottis and other type of bars, and it's uh, been a very, very good machine. Want to see it work? I can do one loaf of biscotti or one bar of biscotti at a time, but I prefer, for, for speed reasons, I can get through two. Three is no good. I tried that. It doesn't work. So I'll show you with the one right now. Clamp it into place. And I like this particular thickness. So here it comes. Watch it reverse. And me, 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 me. Now this product is ready to lay down and take another bake. So you saw it cut the, the bar product. Now we're going to cut a, a large loaf of bread. And afterwards, we're going to cut a, a couple of baguettes. I'm going to cut one thick and one very thin, just so you can see the, uh, how it will, uh, the versatility of everything. Now, here again, I'm using the same thickness as I used before on the biscotti, only because I like a thick piece of bread. And uh, we're about ready to go. You ready? Now we have a baguette. We're going to slice at a regular thickness like that. And then the, the last one we're going to do is going to be very thin. So if you have any need for very, very thin product, this machine will do it. That's how the machine works.